Welcome back to the Dion Training YouTube channel and in this video we're gonna be going over idle, what idle is and why you should learn it in 2025. Have you ever wondered how big companies like Apple and Google and Microsoft handle their IT infrastructure? Of course they can't handle it like you would at a small startup or at your small office home office network, they do things differently. How do they fix problems or apply changes or make any kind of development to their IT infrastructure? Well, behind the scenes they're often using something called idle today i'm going to be explaining what idle is how it's used and why you should learn it in 2025 and how it can help you land a great job in tech even if you're just starting out and don't worry we'll keep this super simple and to the point so first what is idle idle stands for the information technology infrastructure library i know that sounds super fancy but really idle is just a set of best practices that we use kind of like a guidebook that shows you how to run an IT department the smart way. Think of it like this. Imagine the IT department like a busy kitchen in a restaurant. There are chefs, waiters, orders flying in, dishes going out. It's super busy. Now, without rules and recipes, it would be complete chaos. Food would be late, or the orders would be wrong, or it would even be served cold. Idle is like the recipe book. It keeps everything in order, so the IT kitchen can run smoothly and customers can be happy. For example, when your favorite application crashes and then it comes back to working, that's idle at work. It's called incident management. Now for a second, let's just go back with a little history lesson. Before idle 4, we had something called idle v3 or idle version 3. It came out in 2007 and it focused on step-by-step -step processes for how IT teams should do things. There were five main stages in idle v3. Service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation, and continuous continual service improvement. But V3 was kind of old school. It was very detailed, sometimes too detailed, and it worked, but it wasn't super flexible. Then the world would start moving so fast. We had DevOps, Agile, and Cloud Computing, and Idle V3 couldn't really hold up. And that's where Idle 4 came around. That's where I come in. Idle 4 launched in 2019, and it's all about being modern, people-focused, and flexible. Instead of just following checklists, it helps IT teams work together, fix problems, and focus on delivering value. That just means doing the work that actually helps the people. A few of the things that made Idle 4 super cool were called the service value system and the service value chain. The service value system explains how different parts of the business work together in order to help the customers out. So basically, it's like a catalog that explains how different parts of a machine or a car are supposed to work together in order to get the car moving. The service value chain, on the other hand, is like a detailed map of how IT teams build, plan, and support their services. It's more of a manual. And instead of just processes that Idle V3 gave us, Idle 4 has 34 practices, which were more flexible and can support today's fast-moving world better. So, for example, let's say someone in your company can't connect to Wi-Fi. Well, with Idle 4, your team can engage with the user, plan a response, and deliver support to said user to actually fix their problem. And then they can improve the process to stop the problem from happening again. Simple, smart, and helpful. This is the basic idea of Idle 4. Engage, plan, deliver, and improve are all practices within Idle 4. Okay, so now you know all about Idle, why should you learn it? Well, here are some of the big reasons. It is super beginner friendly. You don't need to be a tech genius or have a huge tech background in order to understand Idle. A lot of Idle 4 foundation courses are out there that can and help you understand the framework in a matter of hours. For example, the one at Dion Training. Second reason, it looks amazing on your resume. A lot of employers and hiring managers actually look for the Idle 4 Foundation Certificate, so if you're actually certified and you understand the framework, it would be a great asset for you in your job hunt process. Because it shows that you understand what it takes and how to work in a professional IT team. And the final reason, it's used everywhere. Banks, schools, hospitals, airlines, tech companies, they all use idle. It's not just for IT support teams, it's for cloud jobs, security jobs, and even project management. So if you're trying to break into a career in IT or tech in general, idle gives you a very solid foundation to do so. So you're still wondering, okay, now I understand what idle is, but what can you actually use it in? What kind of job
jobs can you get if you understand idle well there are lots of jobs out there for example one of the very beginner and entry level jobs is actually it support because if you understand idle you will understand how to deliver services and how to support and improve their services for your users so that's the first one you can also work as a change manager a huge part of idle is actually change applying the change and understanding all the different implications of changes is a huge part of idle 4. that's another job that you could work if you understand the idle framework well and even some cybersecurity analyst job will require you to have an understanding of the idle 4 framework so you can be able to handle incidents and manage different risks at different levels of the organization so yeah learning idle can actually open a lot of doors for you okay so how do you actually get started in idle you could go one of two ways well you could just learn the framework and understand the materials that are available around for free and you could do that but you wouldn't have something to go for it what i would actually do or to be honest what i've actually done is to go find a course from an accredited training organization that actually goes over the idle for foundation curriculum for example the one at dion training which not only goes over all the materials that you need to understand but also gives you the voucher for the exam so that you can go test and get your official certification which shows employers everywhere that you have the dedication and you have the actual understanding of being able to pass the idle for foundation exam now the course at dion training does not only provide you with the training videos it actually provides you with different practice exams so you can test your knowledge before the actual exam and it gives you the 100% 60 day pass guarantee which guarantees that if you finish the course within 60 days and don't pass your exam we're actually going to pay for your second take of the exam so you don't have to incur any extra costs which i think is a super great deal however if i have one tip for the exam is don't stretch it out over a huge period the idle 4 foundation curriculum is not that big try studying the course in two to three weeks and then taking the exam i think that's the best approach to it so you don't stretch it out and waste a lot of time one last question is idle 4 still worth it now we're in 2025 it's been six years since idle 4 has been out and i say to that yes it is absolutely still worth it idle is the secret playbook for doing it the right way and if you understand it it could be a huge deciding factor if you get hired or someone else does it is simple to learn it's respected by employers and it can help you actually land the job even if you're still new to tech so if you found this video helpful give it a like drop us a comment down below and subscribe so you can wait for new videos and be sure to check out dontraining.com for the best idle for courses and training out there see you in the next one